Mount Etna, rising with grandeur on the eastern coast of Sicily in Italy, is a towering stratovolcano reaching approximately 3,357 metres or 11,014 feet above sea level. Etna holds the distinction of being the loftiest active volcano in Europe and the highest peak in Italy south of the Alps. The birth of Mount Etna is anchored in the geological past, approximately 500,000 years ago during a period marked by intense volcanic and tectonic activity within the Mediterranean region. The forces behind Etna's fiery nature are deeply rooted in the complex interactions between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. Lying above the subduction zone where the African plate is being forced beneath the Eurasian plate, Etna is a product of resultant subduction related magmatism. This tectonic setting is conducive to the generation of large volumes of magma, which over time has given rise to the formidable structure we see today. Mount Etna is a quintessential stratovolcano characterized by a conical shape formed by layer upon layer of solidified lava, volcanic ash, and pumice. These materials are the hardened remnants of countless eruptive episodes, each contributing to the volcano's steep profile. Stratovolcanoes like Etna are known for their explosive eruptions, a trait that can be attributed to the viscosity of their magma. The magma's high gas content, coupled with its relatively high silica composition compared to basaltic magmas, can lead to powerful explosive eruptions. Etna, however, exhibits somewhat less siliceous lava, primarily of basaltic composition, leading to more effusive and less explosively catastrophic eruptions. Etna's basaltic nature results in the production of relatively fluid lava flows, which can travel considerable distances from the vent. Over millennia, these flows have cooled and solidified to form an extensive network of lava tubes and caverns beneath Etna's surface. These geological formations are of significant interest, as they provide insights into the volcano's subterranean plumbing system and the dynamics of past eruptive events. The complex network of fissures, vents, and craters scattered across Etna's edifice shows how intricate the volcano's internal structure is. The four summit craters, Bocca Nova, Vorticine, Northeast Crater, and Southeast Crater, along with numerous lateral vents, serve as outlets for magma ascending from deep within the Earth. This multi-vent system contributes to Etna's diverse range of eruptive styles and behaviors, making it a focal point for volcanological research. The volcanic activity at Etna is not confined to its summit. The volcano is notorious for its flank eruptions, which occur when magma finds its way to the surface through fissures in the volcano's sides. These eruptions can be particularly hazardous, as they are capable of producing fast-moving lava flows that extend far beyond the volcano's base. The 1669 eruption is a stark reminder of the destructive potential of such events with lava flows reaching and devastating the city of Catania, underscoring the volcano's pervasive impact on human habitation. The geological significance of Etna extends beyond its eruptive activity. The volcano is a key feature in the regional landscape, contributing to soil fertility through the deposition of mineral-rich volcanic materials. The slopes of Etna are blanketed with fertile soils, which, enriched by volcanic ash and other pyroclastic materials, support a rich tapestry of agricultural practices. Vineyards and orchids thrive on these slopes, producing crops and wines with distinctive flavors, a direct gift from the volcano's subterranean processes. The monitoring and study of Mount Etna are critical, given its active nature and proximity to populated areas. A network of scientific institutions deploys an array of sophisticated instruments and methodologies to keep a close watch on the volcano's behavior. Seismic instruments, GPS stations, satellite imagery, and gas sensors work in concert to detect signs of unrest, forecast potential eruptions, and study the complex interplay of forces driving Etna's activity. These efforts are crucial not only for mitigating the risks associated with living in the shadow of an active volcano, but also for advancing our understanding of volcanic systems and their role in Earth's geological framework. In conclusion, Mount Etna is a living, breathing geological entity. Its eruptions, while a source of awe, also offer valuable insights into the processes that have shaped and continue to shape the Earth's surface. Thanks for watching.